Hey, my thrifty people, here is part two to the last thrift haul that I did. And trust me, I got a lot more. So I was still looking in the wood section. Some of the items look like that one was so beautiful, but the price, oh, I've been wanting to do, redo one of these in like the turquoise shipwrecked wax, but every time I find one, it's far too expensive to have to invest that much time in it. So I never pick it up. This was super, it was cute. Love the detail on it, but I couldn't get that off. It looked like it was chipping and I was really like, do I want to spend that much money to have to try and paint and get into the details? Nope. So I found these corbels though. You can see I've already filled up the card and we're now having to go to the bottom. And they were not my color, but we will change those. That rooster tray is now available on my website and it's 25% off until Sunday. Um, the shutters were cute. John always like finds like the really rustic stuff, which usually I would grab those in a second. But again, like some of the prices, they're just too much now. Like that one was not bad. It was $4.99, but I guess I also have to think, do I want that size? <laughs> I was so shocked that John grabbed that in all honesty, but I was like, where, I, I wouldn't even know how to display that. Like if I painted it and everything, I, I just don't know. So we're going to go around. You guys know my obsession for glass and these strawberry vintage mugs were everything. They had a full set of them and they were $6.99, but I just, you know, sometimes I don't know if I could sell them. And then you have to think about shipping as well. Now that I know I'm keeping my booth though, um, I might be more willing to actually like go for it, but I'll have to see what sells in my booth too. Uh, you guys know my mug collection, make sure to check it out. I try my best to really look at like the bottom, the inside, if there's cracks or scuffs, sometimes I miss it, but I always try to grab the Ray Dunn ones, anything from Crate and Barrel, um, vintage or anything name brand. Some of the times I find things that still have the tags on them and that is a good buy and a good resell. So if you're somebody that's looking for an easy gift, the mug section is going to be your go-to because you can put little gifts in that. I mean, just super easy. So I always look through the mugs, as you guys can tell by my mug collection. Can you hear Montgomery? <sighs> the clocks, they have an end cap, as you can see, but I had to tell myself no because I have found a bunch at a garage sale that I still need to flip. Now these were interesting, but I don't know if you could see, it almost looks like Viking horns. I don't know what was going on with those. Almost looks like a salt and pepper shaker set. You never know what you're going to find at the thrift store. Um, you guys, are you guys okay with the voiceovers when it comes to thrift, like thrifting? Because in all honesty, um, my savers is so loud that I, I feel like I would have to talk loud and then people would be like, who dat? You know, but Salt and pepper shakers always grab here. I don't think I ever leave savers without salt and pepper shakers. However, recently, almost all of the salt and pepper shakers were missing their plugs, which was weird because John and I were like, why would somebody have all these salt and pepper shakers and no plugs for them? But uh, the little hamburger and the watermelon one did already sell. So did those owls. Now the picture frames, love but they're so expensive to ship and then <laughs> then i found this beauty yeah that that gold yeah john thought i was absolutely insane but we're gonna prove him wrong so <laughs> i'm gonna look through the rest of them and when i'm looking for pictures to be honest it's all gonna be about like if it is good imagery obviously if it's vintage and I'm always looking for like antique frames, which I've been lucky to find a couple of them. They're just such great quality. They last forever. So if the price is right, I will get them. I saw this 
I didn't like the saying on it, but I liked the outer frame and was trying to think if I could maybe replace it with like some plywood. But, um, you know, again, like it depends on how much the, the item is. And this was gorgeous, but the price tag was a hard no for me. No, how do you get that out? Oh, can you tell I'm doing this at home? <laughs> Maybe it is better. Yeah, it's so funny. I know. And then um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it, you guys. And you, I promise you, okay, that we are going to turn this into something so beautiful. Uh, once I got it home though, it is caked with grease on the bottom. So this had to have been in like a restaurant or somebody's house. I don't know, but I am going, I'm going to prove John wrong. I tell you what. So this is, John, if you could see John's face right now, like stone cold. Okay. He's like, you're, you're tripping lady. And I found this, you guys, another dupe. If you have been looking on Magnolia's website, these go for so much money. And if I was just gonna put it in my personal like collection and use it, I would have spent the $12.99. But if I'm just gonna do it for a dupe video, I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> and Everly loves watering cans, so I found that one for her. This was actually really nice. It almost looked like an apothecary. Would you guys call that an apothecary jar? It was bell shaped though. And I thought it looked more seasonal than it did anything else. It was in great condition, only $2.99, but had to pass on that. And now we are in the kitchenware section. Whenever I'm in here, I like to look for plain jars that I can DIY or add molds to. And I don't know if you guys know this, but a lot of the ones that have pictures on them, you can take those off. So I, I got that bowl that's getting added to the cart. And I think we're going to do a DIY with it because nobody bought it. <laughs> um, let me see. So the, those salad bowls, I never buy because they're a dime a dozen. I see them all the time. They always come with like their salad bowls with them. You guys, I'm sorry if this is so distracting. <laughs> Uh, but we always, we've been looking a lot for fire king, melt glass. I think those items are going to do well in the booth and they do well on the website as well. So that's what we're always looking for when we go down this aisle along with copper. Copper is one that at savers, they don't mark up for whatever reason. I don't know, but we're going to get that that rolling pin fit it somewhere in the cart right now. And what else do we have today? We have this, this was actually glass. It was nice, but I was like, it's a one-off. It doesn't have a lid. Not sure if there's purpose for it for anyone, except maybe making it into a planter. So that was a hard pass. I've had, I actually have on my website two little mini uh, cast iron skillets, but they haven't sold. So trying to keep that in mind as I'm thrifting, like if I have some in stock, don't get it. Grabbed this and this already sold. It's a four tier. It's actually a bump pan, not a jello mold. So I thought that was really cool. At least when I looked it up, it was saying that it was a bump pan. So I grabbed that. I thought the four tier was really unique. The Pyrex is usually so expensive at Savers and it's usually really, really beat up. Now this melt glass piece I bought for myself. Uh, I don't know if you guys have watched the thrift hauls, but I found myself the Pyrex melt glass bowl. And since then I was like, I want to collect these pieces. So you guys, that ends this. You can see our cart is full and I will be back with another thrift haul. Bye.